It's Patrick Harker, whose index today was worse than expected, and that's part of the story. But go ahead. What do you got? Yeah, he's going to talk about monetary policy, saying he expects the funds rate to be well above 4%. By the end of the year, that, by the way, as we'll show you in a second, is in line with where the market is priced. So the Fed is going to stop hiking rates sometime next year. But when it does, it will hold policy at a restrictive rate, let monetary policy do its work, says the Philly, Philly Fed president. If we have to tighten further after stopping, he says, we can tighten further based on the data. So no friend of Labenthal on my right here is Patrick Harker from Philly. A sustained decline in inflation we required before we let up on tightening. On the outlook, he sees flat GDP 2022, one and a half in 2023, 2% 2 in 2024. Inflation goes 6, 4, 2 and a half. Boy, it'd be fabulous if that happened. There's unemployment goes 4 and a half to 4% where it will peak and then come down in 2024. Inflation, he says, is caused by a perfect storm of events, Russia, pandemic, fiscal and monetary policy. Interestingly here, folks, this is something we're, I'm seeing a little bit more of. Fed officials talking about the fiscal side of things. U.S. government policies, he says, contributed to supply side issues. He mentions tariffs, immigration policy, not building enough housing, as well as fiscal spending. Yeah, so. And he um, does blame the Fed, too, by the way, just to be clear. Yeah, I mean, you, you reference Labenthal because Labenthal can't have the Fed continuing to hike into next year into what is already a slowing economy, right? That's the worst. Look, I got pom poms That's the for worst Jimmy to be for right. Are you kidding me? Everybody wants Jimmy to be right. I mean, Scott, yeah, you're exactly yeah. right, right? I mean, I took a lot of comfort, and I think the market this week took comfort from uh, Mr. Bullard's comments on Sunday. I think it was Sunday about, hey, let's do two more 75s and pause and look around. I think what the market is saying, and it's not just me, the market is saying, look, we can get through this. You do two more rate hikes, make them big, make them 75, and just stop and look around, because, Steve, what's going to happen there, you're going to be at four and a half percent over the course of nine months, 450 basis points. I don't think I'm being unreasonable in saying that's a good Can I respond, Jim, time? before you go too far down that go rabbit ahead. hole, which go is... Ahead. Uh, go ahead. Guys, He's already in the hole, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't want to not give you your say here, but if you wouldn't mind taking a look at the Fed rate outlook. No, I, 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 I know. I know. Because guys, we're, are we at, are we at, like you said earlier, five? But we're five percent. We're, we're, there we are, May 23. We're sandwich now. But let me for May twenty three, five dollars is not a thing. Uh, Steve, five percent on in May. And what's also interesting, Jim, is you see that gap between the the, the May and the January number, the January twenty four. That gap has come down. So there was like this big easing built in. Now there's, I'm, I'm just saying, Jim, I, I'm you could be you. totally right. Yeah. I'm just pointing out where the market is priced right now, not for stopping at four but for going all the way to five. And, and your point is well made. I'll make this very quick. Um, the, we know you would admit the Fed funds futures market is awfully bad at finding its final rate. I mean, it's very good at going along with the trend where it is right now. But frankly, this is a very schizophrenic market, the Fed funds futures market. Now, right now, it's been right. And anybody wants to throw a brick at me, I do. But I mean, it's